Back to Bigger Sports Center as Lindsey Wilson wins it here this afternoon by a score of 75-72. Sitting alongside LWC Edmonds basketball coach Chris Starks. And coach, uh, first half foul trouble really plagued you in the, obviously in that first half. And it kind of kind of took you out of what you I think you wanted to do. Exactly. And uh, you know, with Quentin Anderson getting hurt last night, it just yeah, you know, every game it seems like we have to go try to find a new way to play. And uh, we can't get in a flow. And uh, when Quentin went down last night, you know, uh, you know we're pretty thin at point guard. When uh, Calvin got his second foul, you know, I mean, that's a rule. I mean, he said you don't want to get him three in the first half, and then Elijah got two. You don't, you know, two of our better guards get in foul trouble. You know, I tried to, uh, I, I brought Mason Perry in, and he did pretty good, but I mean, he's, he's still just a freshman, and, and those guards really get after you and defend you. And it was, it, it was a tough ask, and, and uh, we survived it, came out in the second half, and uh, took it to him. I thought your defense was much better in the second half, especially on uh, on their leading scorer, Karan Baker. He had 20 in the first half, but only uh, had to settle for nine points in the second half. What was the difference? Well, first of all, he's a heck of a player. He can score the basketball. Um, you know, I was hoping, you know, I kept talking about we got to make him really inefficient, all right, and, and really make him work hard. And I think that's what we made, made him do. Um, the second half, we, 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 we tried to take away as many touches as we could. He just had to really, really work hard for every look we got. Uh, we put Mark Edmond on him. I mean, Mark's a four man, and uh, he's probably our best athlete. He just got out in the passing lane and made it a little difficult for him to catch the basketball. You ultimately shot 50% from the behind the arc, 9 of 18. But th those weren't easy shots uh, because they're, they're, especially their 2-3 defense, the way they stretch it out, it, yeah. it, it, you had to move the ball. And I thought you guys did a pretty good job of moving the ball. Tonight. Yeah, the first half we were pretty lethargic. And, and I, you know, you got to attack the gaps. you got to make two people guard you and then, and then make that extra pass. And in the second half, I changed what we were doing offensively with the man in the middle. And, uh, you know, we collapsed the defense by getting the ball in the middle. We were able to dump down in the short, camp, the short corner and get some uh, easy baskets and knock down a couple threes. And we, we, they had to come out and play man to man. Last season, uh, Elijah Jordan didn't put 25 on the board. It was, it was a tough night for yeah, the Blue Raiders. He, exactly. He's got a lot more help this season, but it was good to see him have his uh, best game of the season. You know, and, and I didn't want Elijah to have to play point guard this year. You know, I wanted him off the basketball. Elijah's probably better with the ball in his hand. I mean, he dominates the basketball. Um, but, uh, I, you know, it's it, it's probably the reason why he was so successful successful tonight because he had to play the ball. And Gear Ring came off the bench and gave you some solid. Yeah, Gear, Gear and I have been we, we, we've been going at it, and uh, you know he had to sit out yesterday's game just uh, uh, for, some, for an off court issue, and, and I think it really got him focused and got him uh, you know he's, he, he sees what's important now, and uh, it, it, it helped immensely, and hopefully that woke him up and. and We'll, we'll get that out of him every night. That was huge. Coach, I think we've improved uh, dramatically over last season's team. And, and But still, free throw shooting's got to be something that uh, you're kind of scratching your head. Because you got to get some good shooters there. They're just not going yeah. in right now. Yeah, and, and you know, I, we do everything in practice, and we still shoot 60%. <laughs> you know, I, I, I told them the other day, we're just going to quit shooting free throws. I don't know what it is. But, uh, I guess I guess I need to find someone else to be the free throw. <laughs> Coach, uh, this team handed you a, a, a loss to start the season, yeah. which I said on the on the on the stream here that, this afternoon that you told me that you will never play another game as early as October 23rd again. But it, it, it's good. That you, I think you could probably see how much this team has improved just by the fact that you actually had more bodies out there today. But still, it, it, this was a, this kind of a I guess a measuring stick for you. Definitely. I mean, I I think yeah. Each game we've gotten a little bit tougher, and we figured each other out. And, and you know, at halftime, I just said, we've got to be tougher than that. All right, you've got to, you got, you just got to guard them. You got to stop them. And, and I think we went out there and did that. You know, that trip that early, you know, I, I'm glad we won a game, went one on one. But I mean, that that, that was a team building experience. We got to spend, we spend like four days together, and it was a really great thing. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you. That's LWC. Men's basketball coach Chris Darst, Blue Raiders.